Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. Today we are going to talk more about serial communication. And what if I tell you that you can use any two pins for it? So if you used all of your hardware serial connections and you still need additional, don't worry, there is a way to solve that. So first go to your uh, platform IO home, uh, go to libraries and search for software serial. ESP software serial and add this to your project. You are going to get this dependency and open main.cpp. Include your software serial and now we are just going to create object of software serial. Call it serial and in here we are going to provide the two arguments. We are going to provide the pin for uh, Rx and pin for Tx. So I'm going to use general purpose input output pin num21 as Rx pin. General purpose input output num22. In void setup, I'm just going to initialize uh, my serial communication with dot begin. I'm going to provide baud rate of 9600. And just for fun, I'm going to create one integer. Counter set it to zero. And in void loop, serial print f. And we are going to print hey and new line. We are going to provide our counter and we are going to make delay of one second. And I just realized that I have to add one more line. So I'm going to add value of one to counter per every iteration. Okay, now I can build this code. All right, let's see what is selected as port. All right, I'm going to upload it now. Wonderful. All right, so in order to read uh, this serial, uh, we need this bridge device and I am not quite sure can you see it but uh, second pin it's Rx, third pin it's Tx and we are not going to uh, use uh, common ground in here because I am going to use power supply of uh, my computer in both of these cases so we don't need third wire we are just need these two so I am going to uh, plug in my bridge device to breadboard and I'm going to connect Rx and Tx. So uh, we selected Rx to be port 21. So I'm going to connect uh, 21 to third pin of bridge device and 22 to second pin. All right. Now I'm going to use this cable in order to connect bridge device to my PC and on my computer in Visual Studio Code as a monitor we are going to use USB 0. Okay, I'm going to open my serial monitor now. Let's see. Okay, a value of counter it's 106, 107 and so on. So guys, uh, I hope that you learned something new, something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya!